Good. Um, will you sign the contract extension before the start of the season? Say it again. Uh, will you sign your um, uh, contract extension that's on the, oh, table man. At the beginning of the season? Man, it's been a long, long summer. Uh, had a baby. Um, so I've been working on a little fatherhood. Um, but like I said before, man, um, this is a place I want to be. Um, I love being here. I'm excited about the season. Uh, obviously, with a lot of new changes. And, um, you know, I'm excited. And from that, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, Russell, a lot's happened in the last three months roster-wise. What do you think of all of a sudden Paul George Carmelo are your teammates now? Amazing, man, uh, to be able to play uh, with those two guys and the rest of the guys we have. It's, it's amazing, man. And uh, I'm looking forward to it, man. It's going to be exciting. Uh, I'm looking forward to, to making – you know, a great run, and uh, I'm happy. I'm happy. You know, they're here. So, Russell, how how much did you talk to Carmelo in the in, in recent days? How much were you guys involved in just kind of? Uh, I mean, to get him here? we always been friends. We always communicated. Um, you know, prior to any of this, um, and it, it just happened just you know a couple of days <laughs> a couple of days ago. Uh, but we always been friends and communicated and hung out and you know and not just talking about basketball just but just 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 being friends and the same thing with PG um just communicating as well um Russ you've had um multiple people mul multiple players come out um I'm sorry well, I'm so nervous let me come back <laughs> <laughs> hey Russ um you you had a guy like Carmelo Anthony <laughs> sorry you had a guy like Carmelo Anthony phenomenal talent but then you lose a guy that was so important to you um, guys over the last few years in Ennis Canner. Just some thoughts yeah. over his time here. And oh, yeah, man. Ennis is an amazing guy, man. I'm just thankful uh, that he was able to be here. Um, you know, I wish him nothing but the best. Amazing guy. Um, great community guy, team guy. And, you know, he was one of those guys that, um, you know, always brought some type of flavor to the locker room, to our team. And, uh, you know, I'm just excited for him and nothing but good things for him. Russell, you got a lot of, obviously, new faces. Does Team USA help you at all? I mean, how you guys that you play together, especially like Carmelo, does that help at all in the transition? Uh, Just talk about some of the changes. You have. Definitely, definitely, cha it definitely will help. I mean, obviously, when you have a team and playing Team USA, you have a lot of superstars and different guys on the same team, so guys have to sacrifice and and, and do different things, and that, that definitely helps. But you know, here we got to figure out the best way, you know, for everybody to play and uh, for our team to play and. That part is easy, in my opinion, uh, just being able to go out and you have one goal, and that's win a championship, and guys would do what, they, what it needs uh, to be done to win a championship. R Russell, how specifically will you enhance Carmelo on the on the court? What, what will you do to bring out his, the best and, and what um, he has to offer? You know, I, I, as a point guard, um, and that's a part of my job is to be able to help um, other guys and make the, make their job easy. And I will constantly um, continue to do that for him and for the rest of our guys as well. Um, and making, you know, his job, uh, the PG job, and everybody's uh, transition very, very easy. Russell, a lot of reaction around the league so far today to what Donald yeah. Trump had to say on Friday. Right. I just wonder what Russell Westbrook's reaction to that would have been. Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously um, the things he's saying is outrageous. In my opinion, it's uncalled for, uh, especially due to, all the other things we have going on in the world, um, you know, the people, the families, uh, people all across the world that's hurting, that need help, that needs, you know, guidance from, you know, from, from our house. Um, but I think it's just unnecessary and, and uncalled for. And, um, you know, I'm definitely not agreeing to anything he says or never will be. Russell, you mentioned at the beginning that Oklahoma City is the place that you want to be. And I'm just wondering what the – what the holdup is, or or w what the process was like for you thinking about the extension over the summer and um, the process right is, now. I mean, like I said before, man, I've been at home, I've been traveling, um, and just trying to get my family together. Honestly, um, you know, having a new son can be a little difficult. You know, what I mean, um, and I've been trying to help my wife, help my family, um, enjoying, embracing that moment as much as I can because I know during the season um, I'm gonna be traveling, moving around. So I just been uh, embracing that. Um, and, and find a ways to be able to, to do that as much as I can. And like I said before, man, uh, like I told you know you guys last year, um, this is the place I want to be. Um, you know, I love being here. I love the fans. I love the people here. I'm back now um, to get a chance to simmer down and uh, get everything situated. And obviously now with a few changes, uh, you know, I'm good. You know, I like where I'm at and I, and I like where our team is. And speaking of the actual extensions, you signed an extension with Jordan too. It 
what 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 was the that process like for you and and what led um, you to that, that process was easy that process was easy man it's just um you know thankful to be a part of the brand um obviously for the next you know 10, 10 or so years man and uh, i'm excited just to be you know with the jordan brand and uh, i'm excited you know for that whole experience Russell, I know you're an NFL fan, so I'm sure you saw some of the different forms of protest uh, that happened yesterday. Uh, do you see that spilling over into this league? And if so, how do you see that manifesting um, itself? I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure. You know, I think, um, you know, as for me and, and our team here, we if it's something that, you know, we, we, we will discuss and go back to the team and discuss how we want to approach, you know, that in the national anthem. You know, we, we have a lot of respect, you know, for the flag, for the national anthem. And um, obviously, um, if... Our guys, you know, want to do something that represents and, and represents togetherness and something that we can sit together as athletes um, all in for. Hey, Russ, this is your team now, so can you just talk about the, the job that Sam Presti's done to put these players like Carmelo yeah. and Paul George around you to try to get that championship? Oh, man, he's done team. an amazing job, man. He's, he's um you know, done a, a great job, you know, ever since I've been here. He, he's finding ways to constantly keep making us a better team and, you know, uh, for that, you you definitely very, very thankful to have that somebody that, like that in charge of making those decisions. You know, he's done an amazing job of that. Russell, uh, Sam said that you had an injection in your knee. I uh, wanted to ask, you know, how's your knee doing and, and what's the severity of that? Uh, of I'm great, man. It's just PRP, just normal stuff. Something I do, every, honestly, um, in the summertime. Just had to move, move it back this year because, uh, like I told you, I had been at home. <laughs> so just, you know, a lot of different things going on. And uh, for me, uh, family is the most important thing in my life. And, 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 you know, I take very, very, you know, I take that very, very seriously. And I take time and, to be able to embrace the moments uh, of that. So, you know, just moved it back a little bit and I'm fine. So I'll be ready to go soon. Now you said that's something you do in the summertime. Is this something you've had before? Uh, no, no, no. No, I've I've been able to get checkups. My knee is fine, great, um, and I'm doing well. Uh, yes, Russell, how, how do you how does it feel going from being Russell Westbrook, the basketball player for the past nine ten years, uh, to being Russell Westbrook, the fashion icon, the fashion maven for the past month? The month, past month. I mean, <laughs> you've been big time for the past oh, month. Man. You, <laughs> where, where you been at? <laughs> Man, look, it's been great. Uh, I had a book come out, uh, you know, so that's been a great, great experience. But uh, I wouldn't say that just started a month ago. Uh, but, you know, I'm I'm, I'm happy and excited um, to be able to kind of expand my brand all over the place and do different things. But, uh, you know, just happy to be back. So, yeah. Thank you, Russell. Yeah.